Hello there, I'm Gold Fusion, and this is a TeamSpeak 3 server Linux install video tutorial. Um, we're going to assume you have a shell, so what we're going to do here is uh, get the tarball. Let's go to the TeamSpeak website, copy the shortcut. We're going to use the wget command. Grab that. And while we're talking about hosts, I'd like to give a thanks to Viper from Kuda Clan for setting up this. Uh, virtual server here just for this install. Let's see what's going on. Let's see. Got the file. Let's uh, extract it. And there it's made its directory. I'm going to remove this because I don't like turds on my web servers. Change the directory into that directory that was just created. We're going to notice the TeamSpeak binary is sitting there. There's a database plugins. We're missing the um, INI file and your license key if you have one. Here's your INI file. Make sure you fill in this kind of stuff. I'll have a post on the forms. Right, so you want to have your voice IP, you want your transfer IP, and you want your queer IP all the same. All right, and there's your uh, ports. Make sure everything's set up. This is for SQL Lite, or SQL Lite. All right, so let's go to our FTP. We'll throw those needed files in. All right. Right there. Now, there's lots of ways you can start and stop your server. The reason why I'm using screen this time, or in this particular fashion, is because we got to get the output. All right. So we're going to start the uh, binary. And then we're also going to do INI file equals TS3 autocomplete. autocomplete. We're going to set the uh, initialization file. So this is a command line parameter we have to set. And we're going to hit the go button and pray. There we go. Now we've got some information here we need to have right here. These are your server and password for the query, uh, server query manager. You need this. So save this. And save this one too. This is your long key. All right. All right. With this authentication token, uh, with the Siri Query Manager, you could give yourself the power of this, but we're going to record them both for this for the sake of whatever. Now the server probably stopped. Uh, we're going to check PSX. Yeah, it's not running. I'm going to kill the screen processes. Sometimes this happens. Sometimes it runs just fine. Kill minus 9. And we kill this one. Excellent. Just going to start it again here. Excellent. So now we know what's working. Now, remember, see how it doesn't show those passwords? That's why I had to write them down the first time. And they don't get saved to a log file. All right. And we're checking. These ports are set. They don't say 000. zero, zero. Great. Control A, D to detach the screen. And we are done in there. All right. So now what we're going to do, because the server is running, we're going to start up our TeamSpeak 3 client. All right. And we're going to connect there. All right, now we have no server authentication yet. What we're going to do here is go to permissions, use token. We're going to use this token here, the long one. This is what most people are doing. This is the mistake most people are doing, is they just add themselves here. Now you've given yourself server admin six. If you go look in the permissions, you see server admin, normal guest, and you will see that server admins for file transfers and stuff are 75 permissions. These are weights. We'll get into that later a little bit. All right, what I want to do is go to the Surrey Query Manager. Now, this is the code I want to put in, but I'm going to change the password for this one. 
was the last time I did a server install. This code will be posted. This is I got this from uh, Jay Wervison or something like that from the forums. He does permissions 101. He monitors that thread. Let's see what we got here. There we go. Our ID. Let's do OK. Let's go look at our Teamspeak. Okay, I've been added to two. Now if I go look at uh, server groups, I see more. Okay, now these are just virtual groups. You can't add people to them. These are the original ones you see. These are the ones you add your people to. And now I am now added to admin server query, which gives me powers of 100 group default, which basically is a global admin. All right. Now, problem here is, we'll get to that in a second about the avatars. We don't need that anymore. Okay, now, with the avatars, if we go to permissions, let's see. That's been a late night. We go to guest, and the reason why they can't see avatars is max avatar file, file size has nothing. Server admins is pretty nothing. So let's you know, make some imaginary number that's a lot bigger. Imaginary number that's actually in bytes. I just don't feel like doing a conversion to 1.5 megs, but it'll be adequate. All right. Give everybody that. For server admins, normal and guest users that just join, there's their avatar file size. Now you can actually do avatars, assuming that this is set correctly. This is for total bandwidth for the server. Click on your server, go to edit virtual server, click on more, click on transfers. Now the older clients, these values are not set right. If you cannot tweak these values or gray, you did not log in in the server query manager correctly. And insert group two, okay? Uh, beta five and on, and I'm pretty sure two, three, and four all have these values set correctly. So these will work, but the older ones, not so much. All right, so now we can do avatars, I do believe. I'll be able to see it regardless, even if there wasn't a problem, but let's test. Let's make a new file transfer channel. Create channel, transfers, permanent. You created a channel. Excellent, now to enable file sharing. What I want to explain to you here is that, look at server groups. Server admin to do a file sharing, file transfer. Their weight values are 75. Use as an admin server will be 100. Normals are 50 and guests are 25. Now guests only have certain powers though. Download power, browse power. They don't have delete. You can look at these on your own server. But just remember that if you're looking at, this is a pecking system. Guests have 25, normal 50, server admin 75, and 100 for normal admins. Let's go to our channel permission to enable transfers, on transfers. We'll go to file transfers. Notice how they're all grayed out. They're not enabled. Add permission group. All right, file upload power. Let's server admins to be able to. Needed file download power. He wants regular users to be able to. File delete power, only server admins. File rename, server admins. I'll browse 25 so you can guess can do it. Create directories, you want only server admins to do it. Needed power, download quota, 100 megs. Should be enough unless you're uh, you know, doing some serious file transfer, that should be good. From that point on, the room transfers is now set up for open file sharing. All right, we got nothing in there. Let's uh, throw TS server I in there. All right, let's check it out. Does it have a size? Yes, it does. Can we download it? Can we view it? So snap. There we go. So that in a nutshell is how to get avatars, file transfers, and everything working. All right, I hope you guys enjoy the new client. And uh, the permissions, if you really want to get into that permissions thread, server permissions 101 in the permissions. That's the gentleman where I got that little bit of uh, SQL code, server query code there. Uh, second part down there we go right there this is a pretty informative thread read this wrap your head around it you'll be doing fine all right thank you very much